Questions and comments? Catching up on Terry, the Honourable Member for Timmins James Bay. Mr. Speaker, I listen with great interest to my Honourable Colleague on the issue of critical minerals representing uh, Timmins James Bay, which has some of the uh, greatest base metal and uh, critical mineral deposits uh, anywhere. There's a number of issues that we need to face in Canada in terms of being able to compete in this in fast moving energy transformation. Number one is making sure that that supply chain is able to benefit our economy. We know that other international economies are desperate to get metals. But the other issue is strategic. And that is about whether or not we, we put a lens of sustainability. For example, metals like cobalt, lithium that are controlled by China that are being exploited in really brutal conditions, for example, in Democratic Republic of Congo, that we need to actually have a supply chain that says we can do it sustainably, we can do it with good jobs, we can do it with investment, and we can do it to build up a Canadian North American economy as opposed to simply going to the, the bottom on the bottom line of what's happening in Democratic Republic of Congo and Chinese control and horrific human rights abuses. I'd like to get to hear what my honourable colleague has to say on that. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. You know what's tragic about the comments that that member just made? Because I agree with them. We do need to ensure that we protect the critical minerals that are essential to uh, our economy. We need to ensure that Canada is the place where we, where we have an abundance of those things, whether it's lithium from my, my, my home province that is uh, in what's known as produced water, a byproduct of oil. But, Mr. Speaker, here's the tragedy. That member is talking about cobalt, very, very, uh, a very important part of the modern, uh, modern economy. But it's also that member that stands against Canadian oil and gas development. So, Mr. Speaker, he's concerned about human rights abuses when it comes to uh, uh, critical minerals being, uh, and the abuses associated with that production abroad, yet he wants him and his coalition partners in the NDP want to see energy production outsourced from Canada to jurisdictions where they do not care about human rights, where they do not care about LGBT rights, where they do not care about the dignity of humanity, and they would even go as far, Mr. Speaker, as to fund the war machines that would kill uh, uh, citizens in countries like Ukraine. Mr. Speaker, it is tragic that they either are ignorant to that reality or they simply are intentionally uh, conflating the fact that we could be a leader when it comes to all critical minerals, all energy, yet it's because of individuals like that and the ideology of that coalition that's holding Canada back. Well, just uh, always a reminder to keep our questions and answers as short as possible so everyone can participate in debate.